Hello, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, developers here. I am Zoe Chen, head of APAC department in 4399. 4399 has been uh, China leading online entertainment platform since 2003. And we run the business of fresh game, wet game, and mobile games. Being dedicated in uh, game industry for over 12 years, we have accumulated a lot of uh, experiments and also the users. We got around 50, uh, 50 mi 500 million users in 4399.com. And for our mobile uh, store product, 4399 Game Box, they already have 40, 40 million downloads here. And we define ourselves as a publisher, but with all platform users and local media resource. And at United uh, Europe, we are looking for some products uh, suitable for China market. And also, we would like to cooperate with the uh, Europe developers who is interested in the China market. OK? Uh, my topic today is how to enter and succeed in China market. First of all, I will uh, explain the current situation of China mobile game markets, what's the opportunity and what's the challenges. And then the secondly, I will tell how 499 can help. Okay. Here is some figures uh, about China market. As there are 490 million mobile game users by this year, and all of this population generates around 10 billion US dollar this year. And this 10 billion users, just imagine it, it accounts for a quarter of the global. So uh, China has become the number one global mobile game market in the world, and which is a very uh, big and huge potential market to be exploited by developers here. Uh, this picture is the revenue breakdown. The left part, oh sorry, the left part here is the ranking by the top 10, top top one, top 10, top 20, top 50. And the right part is the revenue, revenue per month. OK, if you games rank top number one in China market, you can earn about 154 million dollars a month. That's what NetEase get by the West, uh, fantastic Western journey, OK? And the top 10, if you can, your games can rank top 10, you can earn about $23 million a month. But actually, in China market, the NetEase and Tencent, they are the two top publishers and developers, they mostly op occupy the top 10 in China. So it's not easier for a newcomer, for a new product to enter that kind of region. But it's OK. Even it's not easy for the top 10, but with the right uh, marketing, the promotion, way and method, it's a good product is likely to enter top 50 or even top 20. And that will be uh, $6 million for, 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 for 20 and uh, $2 million for 50. It's very likely to happen in China. So that's why we are here today. We are looking for the products who we observe to, to be into the top 50, even top 20. Okay. Uh, here is the device uh, comparisons between Android and iOS on in numbers of devices and also the revenue. Uh, we can see that the Android take out, take out around 70% of device number in numbers. And, uh, and it take out around 60% in revenues. So Android dominate the Chinese market as the number one platform. But 
uh, the business chain is quite different from what is here. It's quite Chinese characteristic. Yeah, which I will tell more later, okay? And this is about the Gang Journals. Uh, the, sorry, the lab picture here is about the coverage by journal. In China, Kesho, Kesho, Car, and RPG games, they are the top three journals in coverage. It's very popular in China. And the left side, I list uh, the games ever entered the top goals in 20 last years. We can see that for the, uh, we can see that this is the fantastic Western journey from NetEast and any pro from Happy Elements, with Fire from Tencent and Legend from Senda, and also uh, MU and Taiki Panda and all of this. And we can, we can tell that uh, regarding to earning money, the RPG game, card game, and strategy game can generate more revenues than others in China market. And also we can see there are some, some new titles with, uh, with FPS, Wayfire, and also King of Glory from Tencent. This kind of game become more and more popular, popular with the development of eSport in China, which is very hot in China right now. Okay. Uh, this is China mobile game industry ecosystem. ecosystem. The left part is uh, content providers, including uh, de developer, publishers here. And this part is the distribution channel. Distribution channel, we can see that a lot of mobile, game, mobile market here. And okay, the engine, Unity, and the outsourcing, and also the relevant service here. I will uh, take some time to, to describe, about, describe this picture. Uh, as I, I say before, the NetEast and the Tencent, they are top, top two in China market. They dominate the top 10 ranking. And for snail, snail mobiles, they are very strong and uh, Kung Fu RPG game in China. Even in uh, Tai, tai Gi Pattern, even in published at, in Europe, and I think it's very popular too. And Senda Games, the legend, a very famous uh, PC game, and also with a mobile version. And Arpan, the king of the fighter, and MU. Okay. So uh, this is about the uh, developer and the publisher for the content provider parts. And this is the distribution channel. We can see that for the iOS users, there are only one uh, distribution channel that's App Store. It's the same everywhere. But for Android market, but for Android market, there are so many, so many distribution channels that I can't even count. And for example, uh, some mobile phone manufacturer, just like Huawei, and Oppo and Xiaomi, and I'm not sure whether you heard of this, this names before. They have pre-installed their old stuff when the phone is on sale. So they have their own users. And some, some applications just like the My Apps from Tencent, some uh, 360 mobile game assistant, they do have their, a lot of users. And for the telecom part, China Mobile, China, uh, China Telecom, China Telecom, they also they have their own supermarket. Okay. So, and there are some uh, super ads here. With the super ads, he means he has uh, up to 100 million users by themselves. So, Aichi is a video apps and more, more. It's a social apps. So they have their, uh, they have abundant users, so they could guide their users to download 
the apps, the games. Okay. So, but but it's okay for Android, even though he has so many distribution channel. It's good enough for you to just cooperate with the top ten. That's enough for the coverage. Yeah. And as for the relevant service, here's AD platforms, Chance, uh, Yomi, and Imovi. Uh, local payment, game media, social network, data service here. If you uh, go uh, into China markets, the local payment is a must be. It's a must be. The Alipay, the Union Pay, and the mobile billing is the top three local payment channels in China. Okay. And of course, there's no Google Play, but no Facebook, no Twitter. So if your games have some social network function, you need to tell your uh, Facebook to maybe uh, WeChat, QQ, and uh, Weibo, something like that. Okay. Uh, I would like to highlight that uh, what position and uh, Fortune 99 is. Are. We, we are here. We are a publisher. And we also have our game medias for some information for the game, the strategy, something like that. And also we have our own Force in game box mobile uh, products. This is uh, this is this 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 thing helps a lot for the user acquaintance. Okay. Uh, last year, a lot of big events happened, and some can reflect the change, the mobile the mobile game change in China. So I would like to take a time to look back to what. Big things happened last year. Um, on March, on March, in March, NetEase released again this one, Fantastic Western Journeys. And it hit top number one. It hit top number one two days after its release. So it's a big success for NetEase, NetEase in China markets. Uh, the reason why this game success is because uh, it has a PC version before. They ran the PC version of Western Journeys since 2003. So there has a big, big user space. So after this sender, they have the successful PC game, The Legend, and also Kingsoft. They are starting to put, to, to make a P, uh, mobile game based on the PC, you know. So uh, in this years, there are more and more PC mobile version PC games come out in China market. Okay. The other one, the other case I would like to share here is the Hua Qiangu. Hua Qiangu. Uh, Hua Qiangu is a novel based IP, and Sky Moon. The publish, they they do a things. They release the Hua Qiangu games and Hua Qiangu TV at the same time. We can see at this time the TV of Hua Qiangu release, and all this time the game is doing the CBT text. And when the game when the game is uh, good enough for the market, they think they launch the Android version with MyS from Tencent, Baidu, and 660. We can see the change here, the change here. So the player who, uh, the users, the audience who watch the Hua Qiangu TV has a strong willing to download this game and to play this game. So this helps a lot for the release of Hua Qiangu games. Okay, so uh, that's uh, what we call pen entertainments here. Not specific boundary between a mo movie, TV, books, or games. That's what we call pen entertainment. And there's a lot of games will release just like this. And the other hot, hot words in China is Nijigen, and also called Two dimension. 
Uh, in China, there's a special generations, uh, that's 19, uh, after 19 generations, they are the only child in the family. They are only child in the family. And they are crazy about the thing they love. They will, pay, they, they will try to do everything to get what they love, something like that. So, uh, this, so, so there's, there are some, some company who want to catch this kind of users. There is again a very successful, the case is the workshop, workshop goals, workshop goals. The reason why this scan is success, successful is because the main users of this scan is after 19 generation. So, um, we can see the, there's figures here. In 2012, there are 201, 200, 280 million users. And 19% nine, of them is generation. So, people started to, to, to uh, some big companies, just like Tencent, they started to, to uh, buy some, some company who, is, who has the channel to, to connect to this kind of people. So in these years, there are more games coming, just target to the 19th generation. The last one, the last horror is about esports. Esports. Uh, Hero Entertainment led the expression of establishment of China's esport alliance, and it developed very fast, very rapid, and forming a complete industry in mobile esports right now. So, mobile and FPS, this kind of game is more and more popular too. You know, there's Sun Club and there's Alliance, China Mobile Esports Alliance, and Sun, Sun Organization who do the uh, competition match, and also the Sun products, and there's video live also. So Esports is going to be a hover this year too. Okay. So here is some uh, key takeaway. First, number one, China has bypassed the United States and become the global number one game market this year. And it's a huge potential market to exploit with the market share of $10 billion. And Android is the major market, but the distributional, distribution channel is quite fragment, fragmented. The publish rely heavily on the channel for user acquisition. A good product could get more resources, more support, but good relationship is needed in China market. And also for the Android part, local payment is a necessity. necessity. And number three, casual, RPG, cup game are the top three journals in coverage. And RPG, car, and strategy can generate more revenues than others. Okay, and number four, change in China market. There, there are four I just mentioned. PC can transform to the mobile platform, and pen entertainment, no specific boundary be, between among the TV, movie, books, and so on. And ISPO, and also Nijigen, target for after 19 generations. And the last one is uh, very important. Due to the government regulations reason, and of course, the localization needed. Uh, cooperate with a local company is very important. It's very important. It's all about how to choose the right partner. So, um, so we are here. <laughs> so we are here. Uh, let, let's say how we can help because. Um, this is the information I, I just mentioned before. Our company established in 2003, and we have over 10 years, uh, 12 years experiments in game publish and 
operation. And our business scope includes flash game, web game, and mobile games. As now, uh, there are up to 500 million registered users on Fortune99.com. And for our mobile store, mobile store game box, there are 40 million downloads just last month. So um, we, we think this is, this is very important for user acquaintance because it's, if you don't have your own users, it's very hard for you to negotiate with the channel, okay? And this is uh, the local channel I just mentioned. Uh, right now, we partner with over 70 distribution channels, including the top one, my apps from Tencent and Ali, Ali Games, you see, and also Huawei and Xiaomi. They are the top local stop, app stop. And we can give you, give your titles of rather local reach. This is very important for the marketing part. We have our own products and we partner with other channels. This can give you a, your title a, a very huge use base. Okay. And we also provide any technical needed supports. We have our data analysis system. A lot of, uh, we can help you to analyze what the user behavior. And we have the, we, we provide the SDK, which can help you to integrate with the channel I mentioned before, and also other technical supports and localization here. So, so that's who we are. And now uh, we would like to announce that uh, we have uh, developed contempts with the price at $1 million here's for you, for the Europe developers. Our target attendees is the mobile game developer interested in entering China market and also with a, a, a product, a title. And the period of this content is from May 1st to October. October. So, and we're looking for the games, casual games, racing games, music and dance, MOBA, FPS game, TPS game, sandbox game. And of course, if you have another choice, you can submit to us. We're open to, to see, to check. And this is contact information. Contact information. We have an official website here, and we have Facebook. You can just input the 499 direct contest, and you can find us. And contest point is me, Zhou Yi Chen here. This is the email, and I also have a name card, and I think I'll release me to 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 some of you here. So if you need uh, more information about China markets, about this content, you are free to contact me anytime. Okay. So, uh, so that's it. Thank you. So, uh, me and my colleague, colleague Perrin will be stay at Bush 10 these three days, and you can come to us, and we can we are open to to discuss with you. And when and uh, I and the con contemporary for this content, if you sub you submit a demo to me. And then I will give it to the reviewing team. And when we have feedback, I will contact you directly. OK? So thank you. Thank you again. Pardon? OK. This one? OK. Please?
Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. My question is about localization. Okay, localization. I wonder how many languages and which languages you think you would need to support to reach 80% of Chinese users. How many languages you, you, you mean? You ask? Yeah. Which languages do you generally support? Simplifies Chinese. Only one? Yeah. Okay, Only one. Thank That's you. good enough. <laughs> okay. So uh, you can contact me after this, okay? Thank you. Please. Uh, if we uh, enter the market and stuff, you provide support. Uh, how? So, so how you provide support? Yes. Which is that kind? Ah, wait a minute. Okay, there's no 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 right out here, okay. but I can answer you right now. We provide first. Uh, we provide the price, the price, the 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 money, with the Canadian. Okay, okay. Uh, we will provide the localization, not only the translation, but also some local SDK integration, something like that. And also, we could help you to do the A/B test for your game if you wish. We have our use our self platform users. We can help you to do the test. And also, uh, any other technical support? Uh, I can say anything. And, okay, and data and everything as well? Yes, sure. Thank you. Okay. So. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. Thank you.